Hello everybody. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 12 according to your 11th class syllabus and the name of the chapter is index numbers. Right? Now this is nothing like any kind of numbers or magical numbers what I am going to tell you. This is related to the index of prices. That means index numbers they measures the relative change in prices and other related variables over a particular period of time. For example, you must have seen that prices keep on changing, prices of goods they keep on changing and there are many factors responsible for the change in price. Maybe prices are changing due to change in demand or prices are changing because there is shortage of certain goods or there is less of rainfall in a particular year or maybe there are other factors responsible for it. But if somebody asks you what trend has been in the change in price, then you will not be able to indicate the trend of change in price until and unless you compare the prices of different years. Right? So, for telling the trend of change in price, whether the prices are changing in the, op you can say, whether the prices are changing in the increased direction or decreased direction or whether the pr prices are changing at a very fast speed or at a less rate. So, all these you have to first calculate the index of change in prices, then only you can tell whether the prices are increasing or decreasing and what is the trend or what is the rate of change in price. And this change in price we can judge with the help of index numbers, right. Suppose I say that in 2015 I have noticed that prices are changing and I say that prices are increasing. Does it make any sense? No. Simply just giving the statement that prices are increasing does not make any sense, especially for the student of economics, because certain questions arise in your mind. That is, when we say that when the prices are increasing, when we say this, then you have to state that in relation to which year we are saying that prices are increasing right? Prices are increasing then on what basis you can say it is increasing? That means there is some base in your mind and base is some previous year. In comparison to the previous year you are saying prices are increasing. So, this base is known as base year. You consider certain year as a base year and compare the prices of base year with the current year and then say whether the prices are increasing or decreasing in comparison to the base year, right? Secondly, when we say that prices are increasing in comparison to the base year, does it mean that prices of all the commodities are increasing? No, not necessary. There's, there are thousands of commodities what we are using, right? Or there are thousands of commodities which the economy is producing. Now, if we say that prices are increasing, that does not mean that prices of each and every commodity is increasing. It may be that prices of some commodities are increasing and prices of some commodities may be decreasing also or prices of some commodities are unaffected, they are the same. So, when we say prices are increasing, then we have to take the average comparison of prices of commodities. We see the prices of commodities of certain goods which are normally used by majority of people and compare the prices of two years and then take out the average and then we say that on an average prices are increasing or decreasing according to the to our conclusion what we get right and another question that is that you know that when we are measuring the prices of commodities or when we are saying that prices of commodity is so and so then we we count the unit of the commodity 
that means milk is measured in liters wheat is measured in kg or you can say certain other commodity that is measured in some different unit now do we take the units into consideration when we are comparing the prices no because there are different commodities and different units for measurement for each commodity so in that case what we do we don't consider the units we just take out the percentage change right we measure the change in percentage and then we say that whether the prices are increasing relative to price of the base year without considering the unit of measurement right so in general index number they are the measures for judging the prices or for calculating the change in prices right now who started this concept of index number index numbers of prices was first developed by professor corley he was an italian statistician he started the concept of index number and when he developed the concept of index number then in the beginning this concept of index number was used only for measuring the change in prices right but now this concept is not only limited to the measurement of prices only this concept is used for measurement of different type of economic variables for example example you can say export import or you can say agriculture production industrial production right so all these type of economic variables are measured with the help of index number but earlier when it was started by professor corley or when it was developed then initially it was used only for the measurement of prices or measurement of price changes right now another characteristic here is specialized average measuring changes in one or group of related variables with reference to time or place so index numbers are a specialized average because we take out the average in a specialized way so these are specialized average measuring changes in one or group of related variables with re reference to time or place right we take one or two related variables that means variables related to each other of with reference to time or place that means we may, we see the time and place that means where at what time time here doesn't mean uh, this uh, time in hours or minutes it means time in particular year that means time period here we measure the changes in a particular year so in this way index numbers are specialized average measuring changes in one or group of related variables with reference to time or place right index number measures changes in the values of variables such as price of commodities now these are values of variables example like price of commodities we measure then industrial production agricultural production cost of living etc so earlier it was used only for measurement of prices but now this is for different purposes basically index number is an indicator for example price index shows change in price level of goods over a time period so index number is basically an indicator you can say it is like a barometer of the economy it gives you the pulse of the economy what is the economic trend the pulse of the economy you can gather with the help of index number and for example price index this indicates what change in price levels of goods over a time period right similarly cost of living index that shows the change in cost of living of people over a particular time period so that indicates the economic trend 
right especially with regard to a particular time period. Now index number performs three main functions. There are three main functions of index number. First averages out the changes in one or more variables. That means it is taking out the changes of variables in the average form. The variables or the changes takes place and changes of different years are taken on the basis of average. So, one function of index number is it averages out the changes in one or more variables. Measure variables are like these, these are the variables. So, one or more variables measures these changes over a time period that means particular time period is taken into consideration current year in comparison to the base year measures changes with reference to base year. So, it measures changes over a time period that is current year 